Happy September 7th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and the party fought off a second squadron of five insects, more of the enemy soldiers who exploded out of a tower high above Crown Spire. We defeated four of the five again, same as the last. The calendar told us the city guards will handle the rest, and we should get ourselves into the castle post-haste. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The ongoing battle at the main gate blocks your entrance to the castle. Fortunately, you're aware of a hidden rear passage. Make your way to the stairs to reach the throne room. Begin at the X. Here's the X. And navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. So we're starting on these stairs over here on the left side of the map. We'll make our way. Looks like we're trying to get to the stairs number four. Um, what order do we want to go in here? I guess I think we'll go uh, six, three, five, two, four. <laughs> so we'll start at the top. Uh, well, well, there's no, there's a middle room here. Three, three, six, five. It probably doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, we'll stick our, with our plan. Area six. Um, yeah, because I, I want to explore all this stuff. <laughs> the direct route, right, would be just six and four. But let's explore. So area six. A large group of insects, too numerous to fight, are making their way through the halls. You are too much of a, you are in too much of a hurry to deal with them. You need to hide until they pass. Roll uh, d20 dexterity, reminder stealthy, oops, uh, 10, plus 3 dexterity is 13, we are not stealthy, uh, we need 15 or more to get the best result, um, we have Disco who could add 1, let's see, we need, I'm going to use my marker, we need 2 points to get the best result, Disco can get us 1 point, uh, Vinny is stealthy, but I think Vinny's out of the running here. He's taken, <laughs> we've used him too much. He's taken too much damage. So I don't think we're going to get this. So worst result here. They notice you, and several give chase. You flee from them until you are cornered in the halls. Then you fight them. Reduce your health by one. Okay. Uh, it's not going to make us actually play out the fight, which is kind of nice. We've been doing a lot of combat lately. Uh, so we're down to 22. Not too worried. So we tried to go through area 6. I'm guessing we were pushed back again to area 1. Let's see what's in this room, area 3. You are shocked to find some guards on break just relaxing. <laughs> Rouse them to action. Well, d20 plus strength reminder, intimidating. Uh, Ivy is intimidating, so... 16 plus 3 strength is 19 plus 2 intimidating as 21. <laughs> she uh, she lets these guys know what's up. The guards take up arms and help to clear this level of the spire. Gain a plus 2 bonus on all remaining rolls on this page. Okay. So I'm going to use the green marker to try to help me remember that we have a plus 2. And we have a boon die, so we probably could have used that at area 6 if I would remembered it. Alright, such is the way of things. Area 5. Some of the royal servants are fleeing in panic, creating a chaotic crowd to navigate through. Roll d20 plus charisma. Reminder, persuasive. 15 plus 2 charisma is 17. That's going to get us the best result. You calm them down so everyone can move and proceed safely. All right. Check out area two here. 18. I'm rolling already. I don't even know what I'm rolling for. You find an insect rummaging around through storage. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder, stealthy. And we get the best result. You sneak up on the insect and take it out. You find a health potion. Excellent. In the storage room. All right. Uh, here's our equipment, health potion, excellent. We were out of health potions, and now we have one. All right, area four, this should be the last, I think. 
A magical barricade has been triggered and blocks the entrance to the stairwell. You may stop now or continue to explore and return here later. Uh, we've been everywhere, so it wants us to roll Wisdom. Reminder, Arcane Adept. We are not an Arcane Adept, nor do we have any party members, so here we go. Four. <laughs> plus two Wisdom is six. Plus two uh, bonus is eight. We would need eight more points. Um, and we, there's no way we're going to get that, right? We do have Tank who could give us a point or two, and that's it. So you, you can't manipulate the barrier, so you must push through and trigger it. Reduce your health by one as it discharges and zaps you. <laughs> All right, so we're down to 21 health. We did find a health potion, and we've got healing light spell that can help us. I'm not too worried. Um, 21. Okay. Um, this is Saturday and Sunday, so we can do the Sunday lottery. We'll use our nonsense cards here because <laughs> there's no time to slip out to the Sunday lottery office. So let's see what uh, let's see what happens here. Whoops, five. Um, what do we have? A mean little hummingbird. <laughs> We've seen this fellow before. Uh, this time he's wearing an ugly Christmas sweater with the words Sunday Lottery knitted in. Those are very popular down at the Sunday Lottery office. And um, he swoops in on magical hover boots. <laughs> Because why not? That's what all the uh, that's what all the fashionable hummingbirds are wearing this season. He's got a box with him. The box has a slot we can insert two amber, and we open the box and we find three. So we have gained one amber, or up to fifty-five. And then we uh, somebody maybe the Baron reminds us. He clears his throat. <laughs> We're on a bit of a mission here, and uh, the hummingbird disappears and. And that's that. And uh, we can also, we should also do our mythic emotional quest. So let's see, let's see if anything in the past week presented a fulfillment opportunity for Ivy's emotional quest. There were, there were two days in a row. Are these them? Area one, that's today. Lose a virtue, that was that one. Yeah, there were two days in a row where Ivy gained virtue points, and quite a lot of them compared to uh, the way we've been gaining virtue throughout this quest, this calendar quest. Uh, she got three one day. She, in one day, she helped a beggar. Um, she turned the other cheek with this thief and got a virtue point, and she helped some critters. She inspired them, gave them hope who were... They were working hard to rebuild an open garden in hopes of feeding needful citizens. They were building shelters and irrigation systems, and she inspired them. She got three virtue points that day. And then the next day was the explosion, the tower. Do I have it? I don't have the image here. But the tower exploded, and the insects attacked. And Ivy got a point of virtue for um, prioritizing the safety of the citizens over her own safety. I'm thinking Ivy felt pretty good after that first day, but something about the virtue point on the second day touched somehow on her past while she was rescuing and defending the citizens. So, um, let's see. Before we try to figure out exactly what happened, let's see. Let's make some room here. Let's see if Ivy has an epiphany and grows from... Uh, as a result of this fulfillment opportunity. So here's Mythic. And we don't need the cards. Let's put Ivy here. All right. Let's see. So does she grow? Uh, to do that, to figure that out, we need to know whether the event touched on Ivy's issue or directly mirrored her issue. Um, and I don't know, because we don't know the exact nature of what happened to her in the past, and we have our suspicions, and we're not sure what about this event really uh, triggered this opportunity. 
So let's um, let's where's my let's just do a, we'll do a twenty sided die, and we'll say it's fifty fifty. One to ten, um, it touched on her issue. Eleven to twenty, it mirrored her issue. We get a seventeen. That's a high roll, so it mirrored. Something happened <clears throat> when in, during that explosion or in the events right after that directly mirrored whatever happened uh, between Ivy and her sister that day uh, when they were growing up. So we go to that means we're going to have uh, very likely odds that Ivy grows from this opportunity. So we go to the chart. Here's the chart very likely we're looking at this row here and we're going to roll 2d10 we're going to roll our percentile here we go uh 43 is i'm going to do the yeah 43 so that puts us that gives us a very likely yes uh so ivy does grow from this whatever happens and how many points does she get your character gains insight plus one to the current fulfillment value. So Ivy goes up to four of 12. She's been making some pretty good progress on this quest. Four of 12. She's still got a ways to go. Okay, so what happened? Something happened that directly mirrored her her issue and uh, she grew from it at one point not she could have gotten two with an exceptional yes so I'm thinking um, we mirrored it right so there's this explosion maybe a child like a maybe a young bird is thrown from the tower in the explosion and Ivy, this is a positive result right so she must have uh, maybe she rescues this child as she maybe the child's knocked unconscious it's a young bird it's falling and uh if it hits ivy this is um this is exactly what happened with her sister i suspect and this time ivy is there to uh catch her so ivy catches the child um maybe she tries to fly a little bit and realizes our, our armor is holding her down um but she catches the child uh, the child wakes up so ivy hands the child uh, who's thankful, wide-eyed, uh, hands the child to its mother. Uh, and Ivy realizes that her pursuit of virtue um, over the last, well, nine months, really, uh, she's been trying to do penance for the accident that left her sister unable to fly that accident that Ivy feels responsible for. And in that moment, Ivy realizes, despite all the good she's done, it will never be enough to make up for the pain she caused. She rescued this child, but um, the child she really wishes she could rescue is her sister. And she understands what she needs is forgiveness from her sister, from her mom, and from herself. And she doesn't have much time to dwell on this as the insect squadrons descends so she hands the child to its mother and tells them to go the mother thanks her and they flee and the child watches over her mother's shoulder as ivy bravely draws her blade and turns to face the insect army and that my friends is september 7th and 8th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit ivy and friends again on monday i hope you'll join us thanks for watching <laughs>